Hi, I'm Guy Shalom. I'm a musician, I'm a record producer, and I'm a teacher. I teach music at the music schools and universities in London and abroad, and I also train and coach dancers. Now, some dancers have been asking me how I run my sessions uh, because I'm not showing them actual movements. In this video, answers that. So dance is movement in response to music. So when you understand the music, you can express it more convincingly. That's where my programs come in. Because dancers have a lot of questions such as, how do I dance to this music? What movements are appropriate? Um, when should I do these movements? And the truth is, all these answers are in the music. You just need to listen and understand what you're hearing. So I wouldn't teach you how to do a hip drop. There are loads of other places where you can go and learn technique. But what my programs do, and what I'm teaching, is to help you understand and discover for yourself where to use a hip drop in the music, what kind of music it works for, how to time a hip drop, for instance, whether to make it big or small. What we're doing is we're working your technique and connecting it with the music, because that's what makes the difference on stage. Because to give a really memorable performance, you need to help the audience connect what they see with what they hear. So as a musician trained at degree level, both in the UK and in Egypt, I've designed my education programs in a very structured and clear way. So that makes the information easy to understand and it makes it suitable for all levels of dancer, whether you're a beginner to Arabic music or whether you've been dancing for years with live music already. My training systems focus on two key areas. That's musical interpretation and communication. Musical interpretation. For example, if I play this rhythm, Of course, you know that's Maxum. Um, but would you know when a musician might choose to play it? Would you know, um, for instance, how an Egyptian listener might respond to this kind of rhythm? And if there's a melody involved, do you know whether you should be following the melody or the drummer? Going further, as a drummer, I can play this one rhythm in a thousand different ways depending on the song, depending on who I'm playing with. Can you as a dancer hear all those differences? Can you adapt to those differences? Can you show those differences in the dance? Are you able to stay in time when the musicians start to stretch the music? When you're listening to a song, can you hear the structure of the song? Or is, does it just sound like one long piece of music without any, any corners? When you're hearing a melody improvisation, are you hearing the changes as they're coming up? Or are you waiting to hear them before you respond? Are you active or are you passive as a dancer? In summary, can you make visible what you're hearing? And in terms of communication, that's about working with live band. So when you work with a live orchestra, you obviously need to recognize the signals that the musicians are giving you for changes, and, and so forth. But of course, you're the dancer. As a dancer, you need to be able to communicate your wishes to the band also. So my system will give you the experience and the confidence to guide a band who's accompanying you. You'll be able to direct them to play louder and quieter, faster and slower, to repeat musical sections, play taxim, play drum solo if you need to. And the other element that's really important that we're going to spend loads of time on queuing endings. Doesn't matter how good your performance is, if your ending is so-so, you're going to let yourself down. So endings are a big key area for us. And we'll be learning to cue endings and to do it in elegance and style. The aim of course is that you are able to communicate with your musicians on an equal level. So you have the same knowledge as they do and the same understanding of the music you're dancing to they do. That way you'll gain their respect and you'll get better performance from them and yourself. So too many dancers are leaving their success to luck 
It's a question of chance whether they have a good performance or not, and that's just not good enough. Here's the thing, your skill, your success, your knowledge is in your hands. So in my classes, you will learn the knowledge, but you'll also gain the confidence to use it on stage. In the end, what you'll have is absolute freedom. You'll have the freedom to dance somebody else's choreography because you'll know that it's a good choreography that fits the music. You'll be able to have the freedom to change parts of it if you want to, because you'll understand the music. You'll have complete confidence and freedom to improvise, throw the choreography away if you want to. And of course, when you're ready, you'll be choreographing your own pieces in an informed way, because you'll understand the meaning behind the music. And that's the thing. This is all about showing your individual style, because Egyptian dance is completely individualistic. It should be an expression of what you have to say, so tell your story. You can find out more about my workshops at guyshalom.com. There's plenty of um, radio documentaries, podcasts on Arabic music, and lots of published articles you can read to augment your knowledge of uh, music and dance music in general. For now, I look forward to seeing you at a workshop very soon.